At least four to five times a week, I have the same question, how to lose belly fat. And every time I try to answer you, so I'm making a special video about it. I will try to explain everything to you. Welcome to the Jean-Michel Cohen channel, the channel where we only talk about nutrition and where we don't take you for potatoes. Personalized masterclass menu with individualized dietary follow-up. Visit the website doctor.janmichelcohen.for. It is a genuine obsession for everyone, whether it is men or women, to have a large belly. It signifies the button that protrudes. We can't put whatever we want, etc. Actually, the goal of the game is to see if we can reduce this big belly. Later, I'll explain at the end of the video how we can do the three yards. First, when we say we have a big belly, I'd like to present hypotheses because we don't always talk about that. Whenever I encounter a big belly, someone approaches me and says, I have a big belly. I strive to understand the cause of their abdominal size. In addition to fat, there are other factors to consider. The primary reason I always pay attention to is to check if there is no hernia present. What is evisceration? In fact, evisceration means that the muscles, called the rectus abdominis, instead of being straight, as their name indicates, have separated. So they moved apart, either because there was too much weight gain, so it pushes, so the muscles move apart, or, second possibility, there was a surgical intervention. It can be a very common surgical intervention, like a gallbladder or even an appendectomy when it is done the old-fashioned way. But it can also be, especially for women pregnancy, the moment when the baby takes up space inside the abdomen and therefore stretches the muscles that may not recover their initial state and therefore be apart and give this feeling of a big belly. The treatment, obviously, in this particular case of a hernia is essentially surgical treatment. The role of the surgeon is to sew the two muscles together to make the belly flatter than it was before. Less obvious than one might think, that's the reason for the posture. In other words, normally you have a spine that forms a slight curve, but from time to time, instead of being slightly inclined, this curve can hop, draw like a kind of upside down question mark. That is to say, people stand like this. It projects the wall forward and individuals feel as though they have a large belly and in reality rehabilitation is the sole method to refine this large belly. That means we are asking people two things. First, correct their posture. It is the physiotherapist who will do this job. And the second thing will be to ask people to do some abdominal strap again. The best exercise is the abdominal strap. The third reason is what I would refer to as edema. So that is quite easy to observe and understand. We apply pressure to the belly. It feels similar to the sensation of pushing with your finger, where you create a hollow indentation on the skin. And there, it's an edema. So it's a rather rare situation. It concerns people who have a liver disease. And if you have this feeling, the treatment is to go and see what's happening with your liver and ask your hepatologist or general practitioner to check what's happening with your liver. The fourth reason, which is much more common, is people who have a big belly because they are overweight. So here there are two other sub-situations. First situation, there is a general excess weight. It means there is fat everywhere, in the arms, legs, buttocks, but also some in the belly. Well, it is characterized by overweight and diffuse obesity, in which case the treatment involves reducing this excess weight. But the second reason, which is a little more medical this time, is what we call metabolic syndrome. This implies that the fat specifically targets the belly, why? Due to an unhealthy diet, specifically a diet that is excessively high in sugar and in particular high in fat. This implies that there is an imbalance of nutritional factors and consequently in a systematic manner fat will be distributed around the belly. This is referred to as metabolic syndrome. There is a method to quantify it. I will provide you with the number. It is when the abdomen at the level of the navel has a measurement greater than 85 centimeters in women and greater than 95 centimeters in men. So here we believe it's metabolic syndrome. And of course, we must proceed with the dual operation, reducing overweight generally. And secondly, Enhancing the quality of food signifies a substantial decrease in sugars, a significant or moderate decrease in fats, an augmentation in good quality carbohydrates, and a decrease in energy intake levels. That is the reason why we discuss gynoid or android distribution in individuals. Gynoid refers to fat distribution primarily occurring towards the lower body region. In women, it's pretty much natural. It's linked to hormone secretion. In men, when there is a gynoid distribution, there may be hormone involvement, but most of the time there is also metabolic syndrome. 
My main concern is abdominal fat, specifically a large belly without any other conditions like hernia, muscle relaxation or posture problems that could be contributing to it. Why? Because it signals this metabolic syndrome, which means that there will probably be more sugar in the diet, more fat in the diet with a risk of diabetes, with a risk of heart disease, with a risk of stroke, and therefore a reduction in life expectancy. And that is the reason why these abdominal obesities are primarily treated through diet. And the preconceived ideas. I hear people saying bullshit about it. You can watch it online anywhere. I apologize for using some swear words, but these are simply individuals who make promises to brush your belly, eat pearl in pin pin powder, prepare inns, grapefruit, shake it, put pumpkin seeds inside, and claim that these actions will effectively reduce the size of your belly. All of this is utter nonsense, my dear friends. The reduction of a big belly can be achieved through various surgical techniques in the case of a hernia, specialized physiotherapy techniques for posture problems, targeted weight loss for general weight gain, or an overall improvement in diet and lifestyle habits. That's what enables you to lose the big belly without forgetting that when you have a big belly, once you've lost it, you have two problems that have arisen. We have lost the elasticity of the skin, so there may be some skin left if we have solved the problem. And the second thing is that from time to time, we will also need to rebuild the tension of the abdominal muscles, therefore to remake the abdominal belt to try to improve the big belly. Last factor I will mention, when someone has solved a problem of overweight or obesity, but which is a very, very old problem, it can remain behind. That's the case for guys, super sexy women who want to stay young absolutely for a very long time. It remains, you know, that little roll there that you pinch with your finger saying, how could I get rid of that? In fact, it's almost impossible to do, except through surgery, as it's no longer just fat, but fibrous tissue has formed above the fat layer due to the age of the excess weight. This fibrous tissue is very difficult to eliminate without surgical techniques, which are more complex. We can discuss this topic in more detail at a later time, as it requires a thorough explanation. What dietary technique can be used to solve the problem of a big belly? First, solve the problem and we'll discuss stretch marks later. Second, solve the problem of being overweight. There is no other way. I would like there to be miracles. I would like there to be medications, but it's not true. It doesn't exist today. Today, anyhow, the sole method to decrease weight problems is merely to change the equation. It signifies that I use less energy than I expend. There are two methods for achieving this. First, I don't change my diet, but on the other hand, I drop my physical activity like crazy. Of course, I shifted the equation I spend. It won't hold all the time, but at first it will work well. Second technique, what is modestly called today dietary rebalancing, is modest, but which in fact are only diets where on the other hand I shift my diet. I can increase my physical activity, but I shift my diet, and there of course I will use my reserves to lose fat and so I'll lose weight. And when you lose weight, even with belly fat, you'll still lose weight from your belly. However, shedding pounds specifically from the abdomen does not merely indicate decreasing calorie expenditure. It will mean that when you want to reduce your belly and at the same time decrease your calorie expenditure, that's one. We're going to do a drastic elimination, drastic, but there, hot. This means that we will consume more slow sugars, especially in the form of whole grains and less fast sugars. In the morning, even the fruits, I limit them to two per day. No fancy, no candy, no cakes, no pastries, no cookies are allowed. No alcohol. Alcohol contributes to weight gain. Why? Due to the reasons I previously explained, such as liver disease or impaired liver function. So I remove the sugars. Really, I completely stop alcohol. I still consume slow sugars. That means pasta, rice, legumes. In normal proportions and proportional to the diet I have decided to follow, I will increase my protein intake, not necessarily only animal proteins, that is to say meat, shellfish, poultry, eggs, cheese and dairy products. Proteins can be in the form of plant proteins by mixing cereals and legumes to create a protein-rich mixture. And above all, of course, I continue to engage in physical activity in order to enhance my overall well-being. After, if there's still fabric left, I explained it to you. There are two problems. Either there's a lot of fabric and there it's sewing. 
The surgeon, he cuts and reattaches. Either way, there's still some fat left. You can have a high prostitution occasionally if you get a positive opinion from the surgeon. Either, third and final possibility, you improve your abdominal strap, that is to say, you do permanent abdominal planking, which will not eliminate the famous stretch marks. So, what is a stretch mark? A stretch mark is a problem with the tissue. That is to say, you have a piece of tissue, you pull on it, you pull on it, you pull on it, and it ends up cracking. And when it cracks, it draws these small longitudinal lines that are whiter because there are not enough pigments for these cells to keep the skin color and it gives a kind of wrinkling of the skin. So, there are plenty of people who will also give you magical advice, etc. But in reality, it's a damaged fabric. The only way to treat the problem of stretch marks is to conceal them. That means, and that's why we use two things. We use cosmetic creams. They will moisturize the skin sometimes even color it. This is what some artists use. Don't believe that all the artists and all the girls you see on Instagram never have stretch marks, it's not true. They hide them, so that's the first possibility. We use slightly greasy hydration products in such a way as to soften the skin and give a little more structure to the fabric. The second way is to hide them. Yes, I know it's a natural filter with powders. And the third method is indeed to utilize plastic surgery. It involves cutting the affected areas or injecting substances beneath the areas in order to slightly expand the stretch marks. There, what annoys me is that people are made to believe things that don't work. One thing that works well under the influence of my wife who is a doctor in cosmetology is to say that we can use cold water sprays, which means really cold water, sorry, the technique is a bit brutal. We put cold or icy water on the stretch marks. It causes a contraction of the tissue. It increases vascularization and we can hope to regenerate some cells. So the problem of stretch marks, it's a problem that worries women a lot. First, at the beginning, they have a red color. This red color will disappear to become a white color and it will be easier to make disappear or erase or try to improve. But do not believe, do not believe all these people who sell miracle products. They are good for the mind, but they are not good for your skin. Here's what I had to tell you about the sales. I would have liked to tell you, I have the solution to get rid of your belly. It doesn't exist, but we can still do it. Did you see? So that's what matters. Here, if you like this video, you like it, you share it, you subscribe, you talk about it to your friends, you leave me comments, you ask me questions, and me, I already told you, I answer all your questions. Hi, friends.